Insulin resistance is driving erectile dysfunction. The metabolic connection to fertility and sexual health is, is robust. Insulin will flow through the blood vessel and bind to insulin receptors on the endothelium, that innermost layer of our blood vessels, particularly the capillaries, which is where all the action happens, but even beyond, outside of the capillaries. So insulin will bind to the endothelium, and one of its many signals as it elicits a series of events within a cell will be to activate an enzyme called nitric oxide synthase. Mm -hmm. And then nitric oxide synthase will create, as the term suggests, nitric oxide. And the nitric oxide acts as a vasodilator, so telling the blood vessels to relax the muscle around them. And as the blood vessel expands, of course, blood pressure drops. So that is a direct effect that when the endothelium of the blood vessel becomes insulin resistant, now insulin's trying to elicit this vasodilatory signal, and it doesn't work. Not only does that explain the incredibly intimate connection between hypertension and insulin resistance, but the most common form of infertility in men is directly attributable to some degree to this metabolic problem that is insulin resistance.